Hey everyone, it's Jana from The Last Stitch. Some of you already know I'm a big fan of sewing with knits. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys my top eight hacks and tricks that will really elevate your knit sewing experience. So without further ado, let's start with tip number one. To remove bulk and make the seams nice and even, just fold the seam allowance in opposite direction. A tiny snip at the fold will make this easy. Just be careful so you don't ruin the seam. This method can also prevent skip stitches, which definitely can be an issue, especially when you're sewing over uneven areas on knits. It can be hard to tell which is the right and the reverse side on some jerseys, especially the darker ones. So to prevent this problem, mark the cut pieces before they leave your cutting area. I like to use masking tape. It's also called freezer tape, but ivory soap also works well. I do not recommend shock when you're marking knits because it has a tendency of disappearing very quickly and you need that information for quite a long while after you cut the pieces. To prevent drag lines when hemming stretchy and soft knits, use an awl to feed the upper layer of the fabric towards the presser foot. Do this in a rhythmic motion for an even feeding of the fabric. Some prefer to use a walking foot for this purpose, but I like how the awl allows me to really control the exact feeding and makes it easy to adjust when needed. To fix the problem with bulky areas with many seam allowance intersect, use a rubber mallet to gently hammer down the seams. This can be used as a shoulder seam of knit tops and also when you're sewing a waistband on a pair of leggings for instance. This method is very effective for an even feeding when you're joining seams together and it will also prevent skip stitches when you're hemming and top stitching. Another tip to remove bulk is to move the neckline ribbing seam slightly towards the back. Move it away from the shoulder seam so the seam allowance don't overlap. A couple of centimeters or less than an inch is usually enough. Water soluble double sided tape, also called wonder tape, is amazing for keeping knit fabrics in place. For instance, you can use it for plackets, when you're inserting a zipper, even when you're hemming tricky knits and also when you're sewing collars, well, and so many other uses. Wonder tape is a great addition in your stash when you're sewing a lot with knits. For stabilizing collars, plackets, cuffs, and even facing, using stretch fusible interfacing will make a massive difference. Just make sure you use the right kind for each product. To make this easier, I've created an extensive guide on my website, The Last Stitch Cop. You just check the description box for a link to that post where I go through all the different options and when you should use which type of interfacing. When sewing tops and t-shirts on stretchy knits, it's very important that you stabilize the shoulder seam to prevent them from stretching out when sewn and worn. You can use many different notions and methods to accomplish this. And if you want to learn more, do check out the video tutorial I've done on this topic on five ways to stabilize the shoulder seams. And now I'm really curious to know what are your favorite tips for sewing with it. So please share in the comment section so we can all learn from each other. And if you want to learn even more about sewing with knits, I highly recommend you also check out my website, thelaststitch.com, where I have so many tutorials about sewing with knits. Links will, of course, be in the description section. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stitch safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!